Hello, my name is Charlie, and in today's tutorial, we're going to be making the medkit that you can see on my left. To get started, let's delete everything in our scene. Now let's add in a cube, and let's edit the, the dimensions to 6, 4, and 2 to make it look like a rectangular prism. Now let's go into edit mode, and then go to vertex and then click bevel vertices and then left click open up the bevel menu and then we want let's say an offset of 0 0.05 maybe and then maybe four segments let's make sure that vertex only is turned off okay now let's go to edge select and select the one of the lowest edges that we're going to be ripping to separate the cover and the bottom so hold down alt and then click that edge it will select the edge rip now we want to set uh now we want to rip now we want to rip so to do this we go into edge no, we go into <coughs> sorry we go into vertex and then click rip vertices and there we have it now let's click escape okay now let's select any face here and then select the linked and now we have to separate it. So to do that, we just go into mesh and then separate and then by selection. Now we have our cover and our bottom. Let's rename these. Now let's hide our bottom. We do not need to work with that at the moment. And now let's work on our cover. So the first thing we need to do with our cover is to make an edge ring. So to do this, all we need to do is hold is to go into an edge hold control and alt and select that edge this will select our edge ring now we want to go to edge and subdivide our edge ring and make only one cut okay let's select this cut and then let's bevel it maybe so bevel edges and let's make let's say just left click and then let's make an offset of hmm 0 0.55 that's good okay Oops, you want to make sure that uh, the entire edge rig is selected. So, before you click this, you want to hold down Alt, then click this edge. Now let's go and... <coughs> now let's go and bevel the edge, and then left click, and then let's make the offset of 0 0.55. There we go. And let's make only one segment. Now let's select the inner face this one right here and just do shift s and move our cursor to the selected okay now let's add in a grid as you can see it's kind of like overlapping with the top so to do this let's just four x subdivisions and four y subdivisions and then let's select the corner vertices so one two three four if we get rid of these corner vertices oops get rid of these corner vertices also get rid of the faces too Okay, you might see that these are kind of like in like overlapping with the face. So to do, uh, to prevent overlapping, let's just um, so click on one of these faces. Oops, one of these faces, and then select linked by Control L. Now let's extrude this upwards to let's say one zero point one. Cool, and now let's select the entire uh, plus sign. And let's move the Z down to one. That looks good. Okay. Now let's download an HDRI, which stands for High Dynamic Range Image. So let's go to HDRI Haven and find an HDRI. An HDRI is, you could think of it as like a background, a 3D background. And it also gives you light. So let's choose, let's say, Studio Small 3. It looks pretty good. Let's download it, load it as like 4K. And wait for that to finish. Okay, let's open back up Blender and go to our world settings. And now let's make the surface instead of a background to an emission. And make the color into an environment texture and open up that file. There we go. Now if we go to rendered view. You're gonna see our HDRI. Pretty cool, huh? It's like a studio. But I don't think a med kit belongs in the studio. So let's get rid of the studio and only get and only take in the light. So let's go into our scene settings and then go to film, then click transparent. That's more like it. Okay, 
Now, here's the fun part, materials. So let's unhide our bottom. Okay. Now let's go to our materials tab, add in a new material. Let's call this material, say red maybe. And here, and here, and then let's make it red. There we go. And now let's make it another material. Let's call this one white, maybe. Um, let's edit the color, make it full bright, and there we go. Let's name it white. Okay, looks pretty good. Now let's assign our material. So um, let's say we want our entire bottom, our entire face. Let's so select everything and assign it to white. Now we want to select this and to hold down control and alt, and this will select the edge ring. And now we want that to also, now we want this to be red. Now let's select our plus sign, select the link, and then make this one white. Now let's go into our bottom and let's make this all white. Now let's take a look. That looks like a really good med kit, but you might notice that the lighting from our HDRI is a little bit overwhelming. So let's tone that down to let's say 0.4. That's much less bright, and that looks much better. Okay, now, as a bonus, let us do something super cool, and this is gonna be keyframing. So, let's start out by selecting our an edge. Let's select a back edge right here. Zoom in and select one of these edges, and then Shift S, and then go to cursor to select it. Now, let's switch to, um, uh, object mode go to object set origin and then origin to 3d cursor Okay, now let's unhide our bottom Okay Bring up our keyframing and Perfect, so let's start out at frame zero. Maybe make a Rotation of hmm. Let's keyframe that by clicking I and let's say at frame 50. We want maybe let's be Voila, maybe there we go, that looks good. And let's update the keyframe. Hi. There we go. So let's take a look at our animation in rendered view. Okay. Let's play it. Let's take a look. So let's bring this down a little bit and play. That was a little bit sudden. There we go. <laughs> I'm sorry. I have no idea what just happened there, but that's our final animation. Looks pretty good. And yeah, I guess that that's how you make a med kit and using Blender. And yeah, so that's going to be the first tutorial. This like mini series of uh, making my background that I'm currently using. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, it would mean a lot to me if you guys subscribed and maybe shared the video with your friends. And yeah, so that's pretty much it. If you guys, yeah. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next video. Bye!